This rate, uh, this uh, rates is one of the largest deficit reduction bills in American history. And it will fundamentally change the spending trajectory here in Washington with more work to do and more work ahead. The bill contains spending cuts that take a step in the right direction towards restoring fiscal sanity in Washington. This agreement will return discretionary spending to 2022 levels. Additionally, we set top line spending at 1% annual growth over the next six years. We also cut spending through the largest funding rescissions in American history, crawling back billion, call, clawing back billions of dollars in unspent COVID money. We institute the first ever statutory administrative paygo to hold President Biden accountable for his administrative action. If this rule had been, place, had been in place over the last two years, it would have checked the regulatory overreach that has cost the economy at least $1.5 trillion during Biden's presidency. This agreement will also change the way Washington operates by compelling a workable appropriations process. Simply put, this legislation ends Democrats' spending spree and fights inflation. This deal will also help grow our economy and lift Americans out of poverty by instituting the strongest work requirements in a generation on some of our social safety net programs. These reforms will combat the labor shortages crippling small businesses by encouraging individuals to contribute to our society and economy while preserving these programs for those that need them most. Another pro-growth solution in this bill is the transformational reforms to the permitting process and the environmental review process. Cutting this red tape will boost domestic energy production, lower costs for struggling American families, and set us on a path towards energy independence. Furthermore, it will be faster, cheaper, and easier to build things in America, large and small, whether that's infrastructure, roads, bridges, new homes, new factories, so be it. This legislation, though, is a product of divided government. Republicans only control the House of Representatives, not the Senate, not the White House. And throughout this process, which was long, laborious, and tough, it's been Speaker McCarthy's leadership and House Republicans leading. We passed a plan, and it was that plan and the Speaker's leadership that enabled these negotiations and this agreement. This is the most conservative spending package during my time in Congress, and I'm proud to support it. And I encourage my colleagues to vote yes and yield back. Good morning, friends. You don't want to miss this. Time is running out. To claim a bonus check from our federal government, there is over $1 billion left in extra tax refund payments that are left over to be claimed. You may be eligible for hundreds of dollars right now, and with these checks set to be sent out soon, you should verify to see if you qualify for this extra aid. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn more about all of the details. Also, in a video later today, I will be announcing the winners of the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My dearest friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. If you have yet to file your 2019 federal tax return, now is the time to act if you anticipate to receive a refund. That's because the final filing deadline is approaching for those wishing to claim a tax refund. If you wish to collect the cash the government owes you, you will want to file your 2019 tax return by July 17, 2023. Friends, here is what you need to know so you do not miss out on the extra cash. Sometimes life happens and you cannot meet the yearly federal tax filing deadline. According to the IRS, taxpayers have a three-year window from the original filing date to claim a tax refund. Then after that point, unclaimed refunds becomes a property of the United States Treasury. You should keep this timeline in mind if you do not want to waste your hard-earned money. Since federal tax returns for the 2019 tax year were due in the early days of the crisis, the IRS extended the filing deadline from April to July 2020. Because of this, the three-year timeline for 2019 returns 
is in the summer of 2023 instead of the spring. Many taxpayers have yet to file their taxes. The IRS says that nearly $1.5 billion in refunds remain unclaimed and more than 1.4 million individuals are due money. If you have been meaning to boost your savings account balance, filing your tax return could allow you to do that. Also, there's another reason you may want to act quickly to file your 2019 federal tax return. Many low to moderate income workers qualify for the earned income tax credit. For the 2019 tax year, the earned income tax credit was worth $6,557. You do not want to miss out if your household qualifies for this credit. If you have yet to file your return and claim a refund, my friends, the good news is that it's not too late since some tax filing software providers allow taxpayers to file the returns for up to three years. You can use one of the best tax software solutions to file your taxes. Many taxpayers find that using software simplifies the filing process and makes handling tax matters less stressful. A potentially record-setting kicker tax refund is coming to residents of Oregon in 2024. And state lawmakers are hearing proposed changes in committees. In 1979, Oregon lawmakers enacted a law that required funds to be kicked back to Oregon taxpayers if the total actual general fund revenues were 2% or more than predicted. The Oregon Office of Economic Analysis determines whether there's a surplus. Then the kicker amount taxpayers would receive every two years. The kicker amount a taxpayer would see would be an identical proportion of their personal income tax liability for the previous year. The kicker provision has been paid out to taxpayers 12 times since it was passed by lawmakers in 1979 and then approved by Oregon voters as a measure in 1980. The Oregon Office of Economic Analysis says a typical Oregon taxpayer will receive a $790 credit under tax returns in 2024. Tax rebate checks approved in the 2023 New Mexico legislative session will also begin to hit bank accounts on June 16, 2023. The state taxation and revenue department will send $500 rebate checks to single filers and then $1,000 rebate checks to couples who filed joint returns. All New Mexico residents who filed a 2021 state income tax return and who were not declared as a dependent will receive the rebates automatically. Those who have changed their banking information after filing a 2021 tax return will receive this rebate by mail. Well, my magnificent and most marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Friday. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing several winners in a video later today for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances, friends, of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed Friday.